Hello, I'm Mark Whitehead, founder of Mark Whitehead & Associates, a national disability law firm. Today we're going to answer the question, do insurance companies really conduct surveillance on disability claimants? The answer to that is yes. It is common practice for insurers to use surveillance on disability applicants, as well as those who are currently receiving benefits. We are prepared for this in each claim because it's a very effective way for insurers to create a false impression of a claimant's level and scope of disability. Insurers try to create allegations that you're faking disability or create a reason to dispute your treating physician statements. Insurance providers often have private investigators on the payroll to observe and monitor your activities for periods of time. Investigators will follow you when you leave your home, keep notes as to where you went and how long you were there. The goal is to expose unsuspecting claimants on film performing activities that their claims say they're unable to do. After editing hours of tape, they get the footage that may lead to a claim denial. Often the video is only minutes long. Seeing a video of yourself can be incredibly intimidating, and that is what most insurance companies are trying to do. The footage does not have to be dramatic. Simple acts such as watering a flower bed or driving to the doctor without apparent discomfort or difficulty have been enough to argue that no disability exists. A favorite tactic of insurance companies is to monitor the social media of individuals whose applications are under review as well as those who are on claim and are receiving benefits. Most activity on Facebook or other media generally tends to be of good moments meant to be shared with friends. It's only a matter of time before a picture is taken completely out of context by an insurer who is seeking to deny benefits. Suppose you're claiming disability benefits for chronic pain and fibromyalgia. You go with your family to the park for an hour of outdoor relaxation. The investigator finds that you've been tagged in a photo where you're walking and laughing with your family with the caption that you had a great time at the park today. With no true context to the post, these words and images become a perfect opening to argue that disability doesn't exist. The investigator then forwards the surveillance and investigator's report to the independent medical examiner who will evaluate you, all leading to a biased review and ultimate denial. This is an attempt to bully you with false evidence in the hope that you'll give up. If the insurance company has unfairly used surveillance to disprove your claim, contact us. We can effectively argue that the insurance company is basing its decision on a false picture. A key factor in having your claim approved is to let the insurance company know that you're serious. If you have questions, contact us by visiting our website at www.disabilitydenials.com or call 281-914-4940. I'm Mark Whitehead. Thanks for watching.